Ladies and gentlemen, we have our new president, President Obama. He's going to do a great job. We wish him well. You know, uh, you know, he used to hang out in Eagle Rock. Yeah, he was. He went to the junior college at Occidental. Junior colleges are sort of kind of like uh, college, so your parents will just pay your bills. Yeah, mom, mom, I'm going to school. Yeah, I'm going to college. You know what I've always wanted to do? I've always wanted to shoot somebody. Yeah, I brought my gun. I brought my gun. Don't, don't let me take a hostage. So you guys cannot go until I'm done, okay? You guys cannot leave the show. You cannot go to the can. You gotta stay put, okay? If you don't laugh, I'm just gonna blow your head off. You know, I'd like to talk to you about my high school days. I was uh, 15 in Covino High School. I was like about this tall, real long hair. I was 15, I looked like I was about 10. <laughs> you know, I had, a, I had a problem. I used to always have to hitchhike to school. I'd be out there, you know, I'd be like sticking my thumb out. Man, nobody would be picking me up. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, they could have like cut me up. They could have burned me up. They could have like, you know, tortured me. All because I just wanted to learn and go to school. God, what happened? You know, my very first week of high school, that was, that was fun. My very, very fir first week of high school. You know how everybody has like the, the football team, they have the big prep rally? Well, I wanted to go, couldn't get in. The place was full of people. So I decided to walk around the back, you know? The minute I walk around the back of the auditorium, boom! And it made it blows up right in my face, man. Right in my face. Teacher comes running after me, man. Goes, you must have did it. And I'm looking at this guy, and I'm going like, you, you're training our youth, and you actually think I did it, you know? So they took me out to the principal office. In hindsight, you know what I really should have told him? I should have told him, yeah, you know, that was supposed to be a stick of dynamite. I was gonna, I'm here to blow all you people up, even you, Grandma. <laughs> Oh, I'm nice, I'm nice. Yeah, I'll tell you about the first time I ditched class. It was about my second week in high school. We sat there, me and Leonard Kendall. We we're like, what are we gonna do, you know? We we're like, oh, let's go get stoned. So we sat, we sat in, ironically, in the boys' restroom on the toilet. And this guy, man, this guy like had zits all over his face. And I'm thinking, back then, you know, if you had zits, if you were like a fat ass, you had a problem. Back then, they didn't have the medication they have now that could fix you right up. So anyways, we rolled the joint in the bathroom. I don't know what we were thinking. We had the administration office right next to us, but we rolled it. Instead of like leaving the school and rolling it there, we decided to roll it in the bathroom. I don't know why, but we did. So then we smoked it in the bushes. We were so scared. We smoked the joint in the bushes. Oh, God. My first crush in high school, that was pretty, that was pretty fun. You know how like at lunch you always kind of like stay in the same spot? Well, I had this big crush on Candy Sweet. I just, all I did was half the year I just sat there and I just, just looked at her. You know? You know how you just like, kind of like, just, just like looking at her. Not even saying a word. The whole half the semester I'm just like, you know. She didn't say nothing to me. That was how I was then. This is how I am now. Come on, go! It's green already! Jesus Christ, come on, go! I gotta get to my pharmacy before he closes. I need my meds. Come on, go! Go! Jeez. I made it. I finally got there. Hey, have you guys, uh, by any chance, seen the, the two-headed puppy? Have you, have you seen the two-headed puppy? Imagine, like, seeing your mother-in-law for the first time when she has two heads. She's like, do you love my daughter? Run, run! I don't know. You know, I was gonna have psycho, psycho retard come with me, but I couldn't get him to come. I couldn't get him to come. It was too bad. You know, I wanted to tell you about my one-on-one -on -one encounter with Sarah Palin. 
Alaska, Alaska, Alaska. Yeah, sure she's going to be the president. I'm going to be King Kong, yeah. Thank you very much, everybody. I'm Crazy Mark. Yes. <laughs>